We're mobile. Take Fox Sports 1350 with you using iHeartRadio. KTDD, Riverside, San Bernardino. Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. What's up? This is Nick Young of the LA Lakers. You rock me IE Sportsnet. The Inland Empire Sports Authority. Nobody pray for me. It's been a day for me. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we are live back in the great city of Riverside at the iHeartRadio studios. It's IE Sportsnet, connected by Boost Mobile on Fox Sports 1350. I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. I need that song, that intro, the champ is here. You know, the, he's a he's a proud, we'll, 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 we'll give him his props. He's a proud alumni of Rancho Cucamonga Cougars, but he is the CIF championship winning coach he is our guy coach are you there yeah I, i'm here i can hear you guys okay there we go am i yelling too much coach <laughs> <laughs> coach thank you so much he like it's eight in the morning right <laughs> coach thank you so much for calling in thank you so much for calling in today coach uh he's on vacation so he did us a favor by calling in this morning exactly uh you know thanks uh for uh, allowing us to peer into your vacation time Coach, hey, no problem. How you feeling today, uh, Coach? Fresh off the chip, uh, at Chavez Ravine. Man, Coach, I what I, I want to get into that, Coach, but I just want to just kind of just take a step back, Coach, and talk to us about the journey because we had you into the studio earlier in, in the season and talk to us about how it was to get you know as you prepare from the beginning of the season and then all of a sudden you guys are smack dab in the middle of. You know, right there where, where the likes of Clayton Kirkshaw, Puig, and, you know, my, my all-time Fernando. favorite. My all-time favorite, uh, uh, Dr. Dusty Baker. Y'all right there playing with, with, with those, I mean, right there where those guys play. How, talk to us about that journey from start to finish, Coach. Yeah, no problem. Like, we, uh, we started off a little bit rough. <laughs> Worse than I thought. I got a little nervous there. We started off one and two, and I started looking at myself like, what am I doing here? I got this... Uh, this quality team with these with these players that are going to be great in the future, and uh, we got to figure it out. And uh, from that point, I think we I think we won 13 straight games. We dro- we dropped the league game to Los Osos, which is a tough team. And then from that point, we won 14 straight to win the CF title. And, you know, with these with this group of boys that I had, the leadership from my seniors, um, Tyler and Chris, you guys got the chance to talk to a couple times. Right. Um, the boys followed each other, they believed in each other, and we kind of had this mantra after we lost to both those, hey, we don't lose. We talked about, in the, in the, in the past, about trying to win every series that we played, and we kind of scratched that and said, you know what, the rest of the way, we don't lose. And that came true, and uh, it's pretty special. And, and again, um, Coach, you guys, you had, like you, you were saying, Coach, you had some really special players. Uh, and, 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 you know, Maybe you could talk about uh, a few of the players that really during that during that playoff series that you were just you guys were able to really go out there and play some huge games. Maybe you could kind of mention a couple of players that were just really stand. Obviously, it's a team game; you don't win without even people on the they may not even have a role on, on the field. They play a big part in that W. Uh, but maybe you can talk to us about some of the players that really stood out during this playoff run. Sure. Yeah, two of our pitchers, uh, actually three of our pitchers that really stood out were. Uh, Vinny McGonham, he was a, a kid that pitched for us as a senior this year. He was a Yankee fan that came in to, with you guys this this season. Right. Um, he he did a great job. He was 11 and 0 on the season. Um, he had a he kind of had a rough go of it at the beginning of the year. His dad passed away in the fall. We weren't sure what we were going to get out of him. If he was going to actually want to keep playing, and he comes back and finishes the year at 11 and 0, full wow. record for full record for us. Yeah. Then you had Marcus Johnson, our sophomore. Um, He's a dual sport kid. Played basketball and baseball this year. He was on our freshman team last year for baseball. We didn't know, well, you know, we didn't know what he was going to give us. We knew he had some talent, and he ends up going eight and two, um, beating St. John Bosco in our semifinal game at home. And at that point, St. John Bosco was ranked number five in the nation, and so he did a great job. And then you have Tyler Bartowell, um, who was our main reliever out of the bullpen in, in the playoffs, and I believe he threw seven or eight scoreless innings in relief. He got. You know, the, the win in one game and the save in another game, and he just did a great job for us on the, on the hill. And then you can't, you know, you can't say enough about our, our, our senior leaders, Tyler Freeman and Chris Jimenez. Chris caught every game all season. Wow. Called every, called every pitch. Uh, took the, you know, just took the team by the reins. And then you got Tyler, who was a baseline league MVP, 
um, is going to sure get more accolades going forward. Is hoping to get drafted on Monday. Wow. Um, he, he's just, you know, he's one of the best players in Southern California. So to have him at shortstop and, and Chris at, behind the plate, and then he even throws Tyler's little brother Cody at second base as a sophomore for us, We're and Steven Rivas in center field, we're really strong up the middle. There you go, Coach. And, and I'm, uh, you know, I, I look at the history of Etiwanda, and, you know, just because I'm an Etiwanda dad doesn't mean that I'm a, I'm a homer. But this is this is the sixth uh, Etiwanda program to win a CIF title. And, you know, uh, we were getting a little nervous because it was a Dan Marino thing because you went to the CIF finals your first year in 2011. It took you a, a few years to get back there. But, Coach, tell me about those years and what you learned and to finally, like we say, win that title. And you have seniors, like one of your seniors, uh, Stephen Rivas was uh he was quoted as saying you know this is our legacy how does that feel to finally look at your guys and say hey we we got that CIF plaque you know it's, it feels amazing honestly we were we've been on a high our coaching staff our players have been on a high you know still to this day um to be able to join the the elite crew of Dave Kleckner with with basketball and Dave Masucci with softball and right. some of these guys that have won multiple CIF titles uh, my first year going there to the finals it was kind of a whirlwind we were just kind of happy to be there and it's, you know, runner up was fine. This year getting there was, was amazing. And then thinking that we could actually get it done and that last out when it happened, it was, it was surreal. We, it was just, it was a surreal feeling. And to have that plaque, um, I don't think it's left my side yet. I didn't bring it with me off vacation. My wife tried to keep it at home. Um, but to just have, just to have that feeling of, uh, being a CAS champion and, and one of the things that Coach Kleckner told me when we were talking afterwards, he said, you know what? No matter what, no matter what happens the rest of your coaching career, the rest of your high school kids' careers, they can't take that away from you, and that's that's such a beautiful feeling. Right, right, and, and you know I, we t- we talk about the journey because you know we talked about this a couple of years ago where your team and when you think about it when you guys didn't even have a home field and you guys right. had to travel and you did a season of all away games. I mean, you're coming off of a good year last year when you guys had had went deep and won uh, and won a, uh, a, a league championship. But with, like you said, with your guys, do you have some guys? Because I'm I'm looking at it and it's funny because you look at uh, Bardwell. He said he lost his spot. To his uh, to his freshman brother Matthew, uh, so you you so the the, the cab it sounds like the cabinet is full and 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 are we going to be back at Chavez, Chavez Ravine next year? You can you can announce it right here, Coach. <laughs> if you want to say well, it, you can go ahead and do it. I you know our, our, we do we, we do only lose five seniors, uh, but they're pretty they're pretty significant seniors. They're, <laughs> they're really tough to replace, but we do have a good core group of um, the, you know fourteen fifteen returners. And uh, those kids are going to be solid. And the fact that they have the experience now and they see what it takes to get there is something that you can't replace. So we're excited about that. We're excited to just keep this program going forward. And, uh, you know, I, I, Jordan McLaughlin, our basketball player, came to the game oh, nice. at Dodger Stadium. He supported us, which was great. And uh, one of our boys told him afterwards, sorry, J-Mac, this is a baseball school now. <laughs> <laughs> and, so, and now that's I, big I, business right there, telling J-Mac that. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 a, that's a lot to say. I, 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 know, I know we're still a basketball school, but that's our goal is, is to make the, make sure that we can compete. I'm sure next year we're probably going to get moved up to Division One. Yep. And uh, we look forward to those challenges, and we look forward to trying to become, you know, one of the most elite programs in the area. And one thing that we really like is, you know, we do uh, on on IE Sports Net, Fox Sports 1350 with Coach Bean Turner, we do the Etiwanda uh, football games on radio. Uh, So we follow their Twitter and whatnot, and we really like it because – I think Coach Davis was at the game, uh, at a Wanda yeah. football coach, and I saw him tweet it out when you guys sent it out. And that's one thing that we've always noticed when, when, when Eternal and I are there broadcasting the game. A lot of the coaches are there. We've seen you on the sideline many a time at football right. games. Uh, we saw Coach Anderson, the, the girls' coach, um, at, at the football games as well. Uh, so we love to see that th- th- all the coaches support one another. But, you know, one thing I wanted to talk about, and, and I know you're on vacation, you want to you wanna go, but what a, <laughs> thank God you guys had that first inning. That had to be a nail-biter. You guys scored your two runs in the first inning, and then you held on for a 2-1 lead. Oh, how, how was the were you Were you getting nervous, Coach? Were you saying, man, can we get some more points on the board? <laughs> you know, it's funny. We, we talked about this before the game. Our, our first trip that we made to Dodger Stadium we, in 2011, we were, the, we were the home team, and we said, you know, it's a little bit – I think it's a little bit more of an advantage to be the away team visitors in the, in the, in the, at Dodger Stadium because when you got to go out and play defense and, and go out there and, and throw strikes in the first inning, it's a little bit of a, a challenge. You know, it can be overwhelming for some people. We were lucky to get those two runs on the board in the first inning this time. And, uh, you know, for that, for, to hold on, I really didn't think that was going to hold up, the two runs, because I think that's, that's a good team. Palm Desert's a really good team. 
but for it to hold up, it was it was a little bit agonizing at times. <laughs> we, we caught some good breaks there in the game, and uh, you know we just we just really thought we played really good defense, and uh, our team just had that belief that we were going to win every game we played, and it, it worked out. And, it's just amazing. It's an amazing feeling. Hey, yeah, Coach. And like I said, we're going to get ready you know, uh, uh, get you out of here and let you uh, enjoy your vacation. Uh, tell your wife. she Don't, don't yeah, tell her she has to get out of the bed. It's just me and the plaque, baby. Say, about yeah. to, <laughs> just me and the plaque right now for a second. Um, but, Coach, uh, another big thing is uh, talk to us about this. Coach here, Renard, Etiwanda baseball coach. We got to put respect, yeah, put respect on, on his on name. The, the CIF yeah. champ. Yes. Uh, got the plaque. But one of, your, uh, one of your seniors also was quoted saying that uh, we felt overlooked. Uh, all season. Talk to us about. I felt overlooked all my life, man. Coach. I'm about to say, so I know how it we feels. We share that feeling, uh, <laughs> but it's been a life thing. Uh, but talk to us about how how you got your your team to believe that they could be in that position. Because I know first thing first, as a coach, you have to get your squad to really believe that they can do that. Talk to us about how that happened, that that thought process, and how you were able to drive that home with your team, coach. Yeah, I, I think a lot of the times the, the rankings come out and they're real subjective. Uh, a lot of the times, different people have seen different teams play, and you know you you can use that as fuel for your team. And, and we weren't ranked early on in the year; we were ranked locally, but throughout the CAF poll and a couple other polls, we weren't getting the respect that the boys the boys believe they re- that they deserve. So we just used that as fuel and, and told them, "Hey, listen, if you go out and play the game the way you're supposed to play and show what we're capable of, there's no way they're going to be able to not deny us." And the rankings don't mean anything once you get that say a title. Right, you get that say a right. title, the rankings don't mean anything. I mean, some rankings came out this week. Um, USA Today had us number tw- number twenty three in the nation, nice. and, uh, number twenty number number five in the West Coast, which is all great, beautiful stuff. Uh, but at the end of the day, these boys are all getting rings, and uh, that's the most exciting thing for me, especially the send off. These this group of seniors who have given me so much to get to have them achieve what they've achieved. It, it's the best feeling a coach can have. Right, right. And again, Coach, thank you so much for taking out the time today to talk with us. Again, we're we're excited for you. Uh, when we saw you guys winning, you know, I, you know, again, we're, it, you know, I was on it. Yeah, man, it, I was it, it, on it. Just great, cause, you know, Coach B and I were talking, we were texting back and forth, saying, man, like we talked to him at the beginning of the season, uh-huh. and, right. and so we got a chance to just really, and I, and I know it had to be exciting for you just to hold that plaque up, Coach. So again, well done. Congratulations to yourself, your coaching staff, uh, and the players over at Etiwanda High School. Taking it home over at Dodger Stadium had to be a great thing, Coach. But, again, man, congratulations. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. And, and you know, every year that we, we come see you guys, we wind up doing something special. There you go. There you go. There, you go. there, there it is. is. And right. I, know I, owe you guys, I know I owe you guys a couple of the want to have. There we'll you go. Take care of that. Like, they, like, like they always say, the, the public calls you Coach Renault. I'll call you my daughter's PE teacher. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Don't get exactly. any ideas of, of, of going back to your alma mater, Coach. Yeah, yeah. But I said, don't, don't, don't uh, we're going to keep you at that. Don't let them sway you. Don't let them sway you. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so, Coach, thanks so much for calling in. Uh, we will be out there checking on you for sure next year. All right, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. All right, enjoy the vacation. You are tuned into the new home for IE Sportsnet every Saturday morning at 8 a.m. with Coach B. Andy Turner, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. On Fox Sports Radio, 1350 a.m., IE Sportsnet every Saturday morning, 8 a.m.